It's a new day. It's a new episode. It's the start of the new season on FM20. I say the new season. The first season, really. Oh, and... I've got a £14 million player. So... That's fun. So welcome back to Passport to Poland. We are with Slask Rotslav. My name is Chasing Lamely. It's a pleasure to have you along as always. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of things you've missed. So let's start with the pre-season. Pre-season is always a good uh, good measure of stuff. Uh, beat our reserves as you do. 3-1. Uh, Bohemians, which is the Czech Bohemians I believe. Um, we beat them 2-0. Klukin. 6-0 uh, win, Mietz, 1-0 uh, loss unfortunately, uh, Trinek is a 1-1 draw, Dulka Prague, 2-0 uh, win, and Hradek Kralov um, beat them as well. So, 5 wins, a draw and a loss, not too bad as pre-seasons go. Today we play Vistla Krakow. Um, in terms of money, things are on an upward tra tra trajectory. Um, not in the long term, but you know we were predicted to be two million down by the end of the season, so we're, we're making a dent. Then there were some transfers, um, lots of transfers. I did some stuff that I didn't think I would do. Um, these are some guys who are just coming in um, on or on their way in. Let's go to the transfer history and let's show you. First of all, we'll show you the outs. We'll go through the outs. Um, so I think he was already gone we got here who was already gone we got here these guys yep okay so Michael Chaprek he left us for Sondergisk um, Sondergisk you know the Danish team um, he's left us uh, his deal was worth uh, 140,000 didn't think he was much of a loss uh, Wojciech Goya who got a, uh, he was our best player at the start of the game um, only rated 50 by our scouts now, which tells you something about his ability in real life. Um, we got 650,000 for him, he's now 1.7, but he's playing in England, so the value doubles. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and I've just realised my microphone's been over there the whole time, which is going to be some fun in the edit. Um, that's entirely fine, I'll make that work somehow. Okay, so, um, yeah sold him because I needed to get him off my wage bill and because he was just in the way of stuff. Uh, Bartonier uh, Fresic was sold from underneath me to Lutz. Um, yeah, um, wasn't overly happy with it and we only got 47k for him. I really could have been one for the future but that is a crying shame. He's gone. Uh, Matthias Cholowiak uh, we sold him for 350,000 to Zoltavargim, again worth 1.2, playing in a bigger league. But he was only really our second choice left winger, and he's 29, the other two are younger and better, so I thought it was time to let him go. Um, Daniel Shechepan, uh he has gone to Corona, who I believe are the division below us? No, the same division as us, there we go. He went 50k, uh, valued at 80. He could have turned something good, but I didn't. I didn't think he had the long-term future, so I got rid of him just to free up some space in the squad. And there's a couple of guys got on loan there. Bartosz Burren and Sebastian Berger have both gone out. In terms of the ins, um, ignore some of these because some of these are just on trial. Um, Eric Exposito has come in. Um, he he was already here. I saw my brain. Get my brain in. Um, apparently we brought in a guy from Milan. Premislau Bargiel um, came from Inter Milan to join us. Um, we should probably do more with him. We'll get there. Right, the first big signing. Uh, Joe Ledley, the Welsh international. 77 caps for Wales, formerly of Derby over the last couple of seasons. Um, didn't really play last year. I think he had another torrid time with injuries. He's had a lot of injuries over his career. Um, but a good player with some good experience in the Premier League and the Championship. Uh, playing for Celtic as well, Cardiff. Um, 
Really good player, really pleased to get him. He's sort of our fourth best centre mid there. That's fine. We'll make it work. Um, Julian Valerino came in. He's a young Gibraltarian player that I, on previous versions of the game, develops into a bit of a low-key, like, not a worldie, but he turns into a really solid player. He was rated at one star with three star potential ability, and I thought, let's give him a go. He's costing us 110 quid a week. We'll give him a shot, see what happens. Uh, Aaron Levy, the Israeli, I say Israeli internationally, has one cap. Really comes in just because I needed another attacking midfielder in the centre there. Um, it was a bit short on, in that department. He was the best available. He's not much of a, a workhorse, you can see, but if we use him as the Engarch. It doesn't, if you see here, I think it shows up. Yeah, he doesn't really do much moving around. So hopefully he can be a good creative pivot for us. He's got good vision, good first touch, good passing, good technique. He's got some really good skills for that. I think he could be a real benefit, even if we only get a couple of years out of him. So I was quite pleased to get him. And yeah, I've not done much in the way of signing young players, except uh, Michael Saflaski. Um... He was found by my uh, director of football, actually. Um, good young sort of attacking midfielder. He's been around a bit, not really played anywhere big. He's done some MLS time, but not really played in the MLS either. don't think he's got an American pass. Well, he has. There we go. He's also an American. Um, but yeah, he could develop something good. I brought in Collins Tanner um, from Man City. He was a fairly easy get on the cheap uh, because... He didn't have a work permit. Um, he spent a lot of time in Denmark and obviously didn't think it was a good idea to get a Danish passport. Um, hasn't played for Man City at any point, probably won't. We're paying 7.25k for him pretty much for the year. And uh, like I said, he's, he's got potential. He might not play, but I wanted to see who we could bring in and he looked like he could be a good one. Remember I said we had a £14 million player? Didn't say I'd spent £14 million. Matty Longstaff, really good get on loan from Newcastle. He's a really, really good player. Uh, he's championship quality. He's the best player in the squad by an absolute mile. He's got a good work rate, some really good versatility there. You can see he can drop back, he can move forward, he can play pretty much any role through the centre of the park. Just excited to have him about. It's really, really good signing. Um, hasn't played for Newcastle yet, but he is very much rated as one for the future uh, and could become one of the better players, certainly at Newcastle right now. Uh, we also, for £3,500 a month, brought in Okiere Wright, right, maybe, Ghanaian International, pressing forward, advance forward, deep lying forward, he can do it all, uh, from Bayern Munich. He's played once for Bayern, lots of games for Bayern too, also played for St Pauli, uh, he's been around. He's been around a little bit. Um, but his stats, really good stats um, for this level. Like a really solid striker. Still improving. Some good pace. Some good-ish finishing for this level. Good first touch. I think he's going to give us a little something there. I think that's, you know, if you look at the way he's, he fits into these roles. My phone goes off very rudely. Wasn't expecting that. Isn't important. Fine. Um, yeah, so... Really, really good looking player. Quite glad to have him on board. And I'm just going to do a quick silence of that as soon as it lets me. Because my phone is playing up today. Good times. Right. Anyway. So, that was a thing. Uh, also, we've got James Collins. 35 year old Welsh international. 51 caps. Really, because I sold Gola, uh, I needed a centre half. He hasn't played for a year. Um... Need a centre half. He won't play. It says regular player. He probably won't play regularly. He's in fact he's got an important player, which is the key player squad status. I genuinely don't think he's going to play. You know, thirty games for us this season. Don't know why it's flashing that up. Um, but he's okay as cover. He doesn't really have the legs anymore to to be able to start every week. But I think he's a good option from the bench. Uh, we brought in Sebastian. Zavrif Kraj, Sebastian. We brought in Sebastian, um, another player I think was found by my uh, my director of football or my my head of youth development. Might develop into something a bit special. There's a few players, like I said, a few players coming. 
Um, I asked Joe Ledley for a recommendation for a striker because I was really trying to find another one. And he told me to bring in Mason Bennett, who's a right winger. But he's better than any other right wing we've got at the club. Um, we're not paying him any wages, but we're paying for him a month. We're paying £15,000 a month for him. Not too bad as these things go. He's been around about 99 league appearances, 7 goals. Definitely more of a winger than a striker. I mean, you look up top, his best role is his pressing forward. And even then, not outside of League One. Um, we also made a cash money signing, Marcel Piacek. Um, he popped up as a recommendation. Actually, he popped up in the little scouting inbox as I'm looking for a club. Please give me a club, begging for a club. And I was like, all right, I'll give him a trial. See what, see what pops up. Under 19 international. Four, well, four and a half star potential ability. Um, two star current ability. Probably the second or third best left back at the club. It says fourth best, but Stiglick is injured and I believe Pavelcek is also out or just better at centre-half. Either way, this guy will definitely come into the fold at some point. And then we have Matthias Czarnecki, a 15-year-old, who's just randomly come in. I'm guessing my head of youth development signed him. I wasn't even paying attention. But that's fine. He's either good or he's bad. So, yeah. Otherwise, not a lot to... Oh, there is something else. There is something else. I forgot there was something else. Transfers staff. I got rid of a bunch of guys here. Um because they were rubbish. Some of these coaches were absolutely rubbish. I mean, I'm sure they're great in real life, just not really well on the game. I mean, tens all round for Asinski as a goalkeeping coach, don't really want that. Uh, Volchek just doesn't, hasn't ever coached before, apparently. So he was gone from the other 19s. This guy, Borilski, has been coach, caretaker, manager, blah, 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 blah. He... 15 for fitness doesn't really cut it for me. Um, this director of football, good, but I've seen better. And this guy, Lishak Dulat, was just, he was never a coach to begin with. Um, so, we brought in some guys. We brought in Edmund Storr, a German director of football who was working in Austria as a manager. Oh no, he wasn't. He was unemployed when I picked him up. Really good though. In negotiating skills, not so great, but we'll, we'll see if he gets better at those. Um, Victor Grishko comes in as a coach, really strong on defending, good at mentals, really, really solid coaching all round. Owen Vandenberg comes in as a scout, he's been around, done his time all over the place, kind of a mainstay of the game at this point. He's not the world's best scout, but he's a good scout. Maxim Sacco's come in, the Ukrainian, decent data analyst, decent sports scientists here in Matthias Dressing, the Austrian. Um, Jamie Johnson comes in as a scout again, decent, not spectacular. Uh, Jurgen Erath as a coach, 18 in attacking. You can't complain about that. Uh, I do still need an assistant, a new assistant manager to come in. Um, Sergei Bezina, really good at the defending coaching. This is a theme here. And Amir Toplovic, good at fitness coaching, which means overall our staff now have gone from being rated meh to what third average seventh average there uh sixth defending with third and we're at or above average in most things now which is way 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 better than we were we were we were well below average on everything so really pleased with that actually is a coaching signing spree so that feels pretty good Anyway, I think it's time we played some football, don't you lads? Because we've been doing lots of other stuff. So, today we play Vizsla Krakow away as our first game. And I'm quite excited. We're going into this game looking decent, looking okay. Uh, if we look at the predictions pre-season, uh, Vizsla Krakow are predicted to finish 10th. We're predicted 6th right now. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. We can make this work. So let's have a look at this team selection. This is the team we're going with today. Uh, we have got Putnoki in goal. Uh, Lucas Brosh as right back. Israel Puerto and Peter Celaban are our centre-half partnership with with Holovnia on the left back position. Sorry, English. I'll do that soon. Uh, Diego Zivilic and Matty Longstaff start in the middle. Matty Longstaff does have a fitness issue, so we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, 
so we'll yeah we'll, we'll keep an eye out uh, Mason Bennett on the right wing Aaron Levy starts as that in Garch in the middle that role will change if he comes out of the team uh, and Robert Peake who we've had some issues with he's been a bit of a pain in the ass. if we get a good offer he might go he starts on the left wing and Okiere Wright starts in the, that deep lying forward role up top on the bench we've got Kaiser uh, Collins Placetta Gasca Esposito, Labozko, uh, Masonda, Dankowski, and of course Joe Ledley. Nine substitutes in the extra classer. So let us pray, boys and girls. Let us pray for a victory as I'm going to grab some water from my lovely frozen bottle of water. Mm, far too good. Far too good. And we will hope for the absolute best and pray. It is not the absolute worst. Let's see, anyone will recognise on the opposing team? Probably if I knew more about Polish football. Vasilevsky feels like a familiar name. Marcin Vasilevsky played for Leicester, of course he did. Andalek Lech. He's been around, he's a former Schloss player. Um, cool. So at least we know he's got pace as an issue at the age of 39. Uh, anyone else there? God. White on bright green. I can't read that. Mikhail Bukilic. I'm sure there's some good players there. This guy has quite the epic beard. Has he played anywhere good? He played for Hueva, played for Celtic, played for Trabzonspor. He's been around a bit. Decent goal record. Also 36 though. So already we're starting to see ageing might be an issue in this team. And Janicki, well how old is Janicki? 27? Genuinely thought he looked older. Sorry bud. Um, but okay, again, not not a, not necessarily a quick centre half though. So we'll see how this goes. Could be a good game into the dressing room. Let's see what just what occurs. Really, uh, will encourage the players apparently. And that's I've really got to stop giving my assistant manager all the team talks. I can do them. I just get really lazy. Uh, Matty Longstaff's been told no pressure. Hopefully, that will inspire him to achieve great things. We go walking out. Schlosk in the green, Vistula Krakow are in the red, as you can see. And we'll see how this goes. Very much hoping for a good start to the season. Gaska, by the way, very unlikely to play. He's just not fit, but I had a severe lack of players who weren't on trial that were available. Let's do our traditional encouragement shout to start the game off, see how they react. Hopefully, not badly. Not at all, in fact, they didn't even notice I'd spoken. They care so little about me as manager, they hadn't even noticed that I had spoken to them. That's always a good sign. Um, fired up, temporarily. Okay, let's tell the boys to get creative, because I'm not really seeing much in the way of shots or anything. don't know why that's doing that. Is there a way I can extend that? There's not. That's just, that's annoying. It's annoying that it's doing that. It might be a bug that might be worth reporting. If I get round to it, inspired by the feedback, that's what we like to see. A team inspired by feedback. Got a guy who can cross a ball that we should close down, maybe. Ah, uh, we just need to do more. I'm going to demand more from them. Because really, we should be doing a bit of a number on them. Uh, Levy feels pressured by that. I'm not making you run, bud. Don't panic. Uh, everyone else is a bit focused. But again, we're not seeing much in the way of shots. There's not a lot coming in. They're getting an awful lot of shots. That was the worst first half, I think. I need to check that we've actually got highlights on. Because it feels like that, I mean, that game, that first half went by entirely without highlights. Which is great for the speed of the video, but not so great for anything else. I've definitely got highlights on, right? Yes, definitely showing key highlights. There just have been no key highlights among the 11 shots, apparently. Super interesting. Okay. Uh, Divalic has picked up a yellow card, so we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, let's do some shouts. Let's show some passion. Mason Bennett gets ahead of that. That's almost a thing happening. Heads on to Bukalik, who's got the loose ball. And we'll see what happens from here, I guess. Big kick up field. If you think we'd get control of this, we haven't. Project to Sadlock. Sadlock to the guy whose name I can't pronounce, to Basha. Back to Savicevic, there we go. Basha again, ball over the top to Sadlock. Sadlock's going to come inside. Is he? No? 
cross. Oh no! Fokowski, first goal of the season. The first highlight of the season. And what are we seeing? A goal against us. Perfect. Perfect. Good, good, good. I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to make a quick change. It's not going to be a sub. Um, I feel like I need more of a playmaker in there. So I feel like that's going to be the job there. Uh, it's only a really small change, but we'll see what happens. We've given the ball away again. That's poor. Really poor. And they've gone over the top again. Broshek, he's through. One-on-one. -on -one, put Noki makes the save. Saliban's got to get rid of the ball, and he's done it. And that's okay for now. We're going to have to start thinking about making some changes, though, because some of these guys are pretty tired. And that's never a good look. So, sad luck with a throw-in. All our highlights have been them so far. That's just not okay. Sad luck with a cross over the top. Puerto gets rid of it. Sad luck again, though. Man's like a magnet for the ball. Keeps finding it, and that's gone wide. And we are okay for now. Saved a little bit by the side netting. Uh, that's a good call because he's not going to come off in a hurry. Uh, really lacking here somewhere. Let's do a quick... Uh, a quick pause and tactics see what we can do um, Matty Longstaff's had a really poor game really poor game I don't know if maybe he's getting marked out of it I think what we'll do is we'll try that we'll put him back on box to box because that is his best role um, but also that's going to give me a chance to bring Joe Ledley on who I think is probably worth bringing on in terms of uh, just generally being good. We bring him on as a central midfielder and defensive just to make that tick a little bit better. Like I said we can't really bring on Gasca so maybe if we bring Pick inside maybe he's got something as an advanced playmaker or as some kind of attacking anything is he better or worse than that than Mason Bennett? Mason Bennett has nothing really from that. Although, ooh, one idea just ticked through. Maybe Mason Bennett as a shadow striker. Might get some goals out of him. And then we'll bring Masonda on there. But well, one more sub we can use in an emergency slash probably a left back because that looks like it's going to become an issue, doesn't it? Um, we'll see how that goes. It's two subs. It's a fairly a couple of well, I say a fairly positive change. It's a positive and a negative change. So I guess it's a neutral change. We're a bit more of an attacking another attacking option going through the middle and a defensive option going into the middle as well. Longstaff gives the ball away. Someone's got to get there for Broshek. Puerto, come on, he's the last man as well, so I don't want him to be, and put Noki ball over the top, man's offside anyway, it's all good, it's all good so far, really need to see some improvement though, I'm going to demand more from them, uh, we keep losing Pavel Brosek, so we'll tell them to close him down, and I think it's time to make that last change, where is the goal we need coming from? Oh my, my gut says Esposito. Um, it could just be a change of role is needed here, really. Change. Give him five minutes as a pressing forward. See what happens. Is attacking his best role doing that? It is. See if that makes any difference whatsoever up top thing is I need to take off full backs but we need a goal uh, let's try Placetta on at left wing because Pick has been throwing a bit of a, a bit of a strop recently I'm not sure he's gonna stick around long if I can find a replacement in January he'll definitely go but it's looking like we're gonna have a disappointing 1-0 loss unless this free kick comes to something who's stepping up to take it right Good free kick in. Oh. 
they haven't sorted out the graphics issues yet to speed the game up at, at all, which is disappointing. I've got to point that out. But that's a good free kick there. Looks really good. Just curls it right inside the post up. I think Book got a hold, got a hand to it. But that's 1 0. That's 1 0. We are okay. Well, sorry, 1 all now. And we're okay. And let's praise them for getting back into the game. Don't think it's going to do much. But we'll praise them nonetheless. And we'll see what occurs. It's not shown up on screen as always. Bit disappointing. There we go. Uh, one all. One all is how our first game ends. Some really good performances. Some really naff performances too. Definitely some adaptation needs to ha to happen there. Uh, any of our subs make any real impact? Not really. Just it was just really a case of waiting that out, wasn't it? Let's let's hand that over to the assistant as well. See if he says anything useful. He doesn't. Good. Right. So a one all draw with Vissela Krakow after the first game. Which leaves us still in sixth, but there's still some teams to play. And uh, see what's come up in the news. See how people feel about it. But Noki made his debut. Uh, Vright impresses for Slask. Let's praise him for his finishing. Good times. Okay, I'm going to be back in just a moment. And I think we'll do one more match. Stick around. So, back for our second game then, and this is what it looks like. We're playing Piastuar, the current champions of Poland. Uh, we are oddly the favourites, which is very, very strange. They've been inconsistent so far, and we're too early to tell, which tells me they've not had a great European campaign, would be my guess. Uh, are they doing okay? They're still in the Champions League. Lost to Bate Borisov, who are from Bob. Bulgaria and beat them narrowly on penalties. So okay, not the greatest, and they've lost their only league game so far against Lech Poznan. So oof, yeah, could be interesting. Uh, who was their key player? Who was their key player, by the way? Uh, that was Martin Konchalski, um, a right back. A right back as your key player is always a weird, weird place to be in. Um, no one there I'd recognise. I guess anyone in the team worth noticing. No big names there, are there? No, not really. Okay, weird. Well, da well Danny Aquino, um, who's definitely played somewhere. I've managed him in one version of the game. Probably when he was at Atletico, he must have been a really big potential player. I've definitely managed him before on FM. Um, but he's not going to play today, so that's irrelevant, really. Let's have a look at our team selection. I've made some big old changes for today. So we've got Danny Kaiser in goal. That was purely forced because Putnoki is injured. He's going to be out now for five weeks, which is quite disappointing. Uh, Dankowski comes in at right back. He's been training really well, so I thought I'd give him an opportunity. Um, also, Lucas Brosh wasn't exactly setting the world on fire last time out. Israel Puerto keeps his place. James Collins comes in at centre-half. Um, again, I didn't feel like Silvan gave me everything he had, so I thought I'd give him a... Uh, I'll give Collins an opportunity to impress. Holovnia comes in, he's not fully fit, picked up a bit of a knock in training in midweek. So, we'll see if he finishes the game. Probably won't, but we'll see. Uh, Longstaff and Ledley start in midfield. Mason Bennett, uh, Damian Gasker has come in as the advanced playmaker. Um, we didn't see him last time because he wasn't quite fit. He's done alright pre-season. He's been scoring, well, he's been picking up a lot of assists. Um, a really good pass completion, so we'll see if he can make the difference for us. Today, uh, Placetta start, starts on the left wing. Kim was a sub last time, didn't really get much of a chance to make an impact. But again, Pick was throwing a wobbly and not playing very well. Uh, and then Wright starts up top. Uh, Luka Ratchic has joined us on loan from Brentford. He is going to be on the bench today. We'll see how he looks and see what we can do with him. Um, otherwise, no massive changes there, I don't think. No, not really. Uh, I think Lebo yeah, Lebozka was on the bench last time. That's pretty much the, the sum of the changes. So, let's get into the game. We're going to give one player a squad number. Luka Ratchic, what have we got going spare? Don't believe 15 or 26 should be defenders numbers. 38, that'll do you. I know, weird superstitions. For me, number 15 is a left back and number 26. It's usually a different type of centre-back. Let's put it that way. Um... It'll work out. It'll work out. I know the numbers don't make a difference. We will have our little superstitions. Let's have a quick, 
quick swig on the old icy water. Mmm. So much water. Um, I've got a weird feeling actually, I know Vukachevich. Is that the Montenegrin Vukachevich? It is, but not the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of had played in Italy and all over the place. That's fine. He's also about 72 now, I think, so that would be weird. Uh, their star man so far this season has been this guy, Alves. I said so far this season, you know, one game in the Super Cup. Um, Portuguese lad, been in, Port been in Poland for a while, but had a decent career. So we'll see what happens there. Um, 4 2 3 1 plays 4 2 2 1. That 4 4 1 1, I guess it is. Heavily defensive, heavily defensive. Encourage the players, they don't care. And no pressure for long staff and pick up where you left off for right. Okay guys, let's get into this. Hopefully we'll see more highlights in this game than last time because that was pretty pathetic. And let's get shouting some encouragement right from the off. Just to make sure they know we believe in them. And hopefully we'll see more first half highlights. Uh, Darkowski has picked up a throw in but he's given it away. Stechic, Longstaff makes the tackle. Ledley has picked up the ball going through. Ball over the top there to Placetta. Placetta, what's he got? Nothing really still on the ball, but Holovnia might get a cross in. He has got a cross in. It's gone nowhere, but Ledley's picked it up. Ledley with a cross for Kacevic has done nothing. Has picked out the sky, sorry, and Cecic has knocked it forward into nowhere for Puerto. I don't know why it's stuttering so much. That's inconvenient at best and a pain in the ass at worst. That's uh, that's not good. Uh, Alves has got the ball forward, sorry, and uh, Longstaff made the tackle. And that all looks pretty good. Wright skips past his man, knocks the ball forward to Placetta. Placetta, Placetta has scored. Assist by Okieri Wright. And that is the one, boys and girls. That is the one. Okieri Wright made that one with his little dinky little jab through there. Skips over the tackle. Slides that little pass round the outside for Placetta. Placetta, I thought he'd put that wide. Tucks it just inside the post. And that's our first home goal of the season. And things are starting to look a little bit better. And that's worked out very well. Let's praise the boys for a good early start. And see if that fires them up any. Placetta's bringing in, in Ledley, apparently. We're not going to see that highlight. Because apparently that wasn't worth showing us. Uh, Romariek to Karun. To Mieski. Holovnia is going to chase down the loose ball. Don't want to do him too much running. He's too tired. Holovnia. Oh, what was that? Oh. That was suspect at best and awful at worst. And honestly, utterly crap. Uh, Ledley clears the ball, but only back as far as the money put it in, which is Hately. Hately to Alves. Alves, Ledley. Ledley doing some good defending and rights running on the end of it. We're not going to see that because that will be too easy. Whew, good early start. Four shots, three on target, all the possession. We're doing okay. They're only coming at us down the middle and so far our defence is holding firm, which we really like to see. We've got a corner now. Darkovsky whips it in. Ball over the top. James Collins just puts it past the post. Whew, would have been a good way for him to introduce himself to the fans. 35-year-old James Collins getting a goal. What, what, what a world we'd live in. Also, it wasn't deliberately a choice that I've got four British players starting. It, that's just the way it worked out. Um, I kind of tried to bring in a few more British players just to help me, if nothing else, if I'm honest. Um, because I needed to be able to pronounce some names. Um, but also because they're generally they're good enough for this league. It's, like I said, it's about it's just below championship level in the in the standings. So you know if they're good enough for the championship, they're good enough to be here. Holovnia back to Gas up uh, to Gaska. Sorry, Gaska back to Holovnia. Holovnia whips the ball down the line for Placetta, the goal scorer. Can he get a cross in? He can't, but he's won us a corner, and that's all we can really ask for him. And whew, things are going okay so far. Don't feel like I need to make a shout, do I? Let's get creative. Let's do that. Pressured. Dankowski and Collins are pressured by the idea of being creative. 
James Collins has never done anything creative in his career, so that's not massively surprising, and they're all delighted with the team talk. So the assistant manager has done his job. 72% of the of the possession so far. That's that's a good return. You know, goals win matches, but possession scores goals. They cannot score if they don't have the ball, and all those old tired cliches. Holovnia is having a really, really game. Um, they've managed to fire up their team with a bit of a bit of a yell. We're just desperately, desperately hoping things will improve. I think at this point, uh, I'm going to try and speed up the game a little bit. Oh no, it's not going to speed up anymore. I don't know why that's doing that. If anyone knows why FM20 is running slow on high-end machines this year, let me know. Uh, we just had some kind of shot on target. Schmatula has picked up the ball. And they're going to hit us on the counter now, aren't they? It's a big ball up top. Collins has picked it up. First touch is not exactly world-class. Sends the ball down the right, though. He's found Mason Bennett. Mason Bennett inside for Gasca. Gasca finds Ledley. What can Ledley do with the ball? Out to Gasca. Gasca finds Placetta. Gasca again. Placetta, there's a man open on the left if he can find him. Gasca looks for him. Holovnia, let's see what we've got, son. Let's get across in. Let's get this over. Back to Ledley. Joe Ledley! First goal of the season. And that is a good way to introduce yourself to the home fans. You know, I took a risk on Joe Ledley. I didn't know if he still had it. But Joe Ledley still has it, boys and girls. Holovnia there, beautiful cut back into the path of Ledley, hits it first time, and that's buried in the bottom right-hand corner of the net. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Mason Bennett's looking complacent. Must be nice being so good for a league that you can be compla complacent in it. And Holovnia is going to have to come off in a second because he's just too tired to be on the field. So let's make that change. Placetta is the only left-back I have in the squad, really. Um, and Holovnia, you can come on, and I think we'll give Robert Pick another go, just to see if he does in fact turn into a footballer. Uh, he can play as a winger or an inverted winger. We'll keep him playing as a winger there. Can he play as an attacking winger? He can, he prefers to be an attacking winger. There's a thing we've learned today. We'll see if being an attacking winger gives a better performance than just being a general body on the wing. Badia has got a free kick, puts it over the top. Ooh, some scrappy defending there. Gasca gets it clear, shouldn't even be that far down. Wright's gone looking for it. He has picked it up. Bit of a bit of confusion there, and now Wright's on a tear. We know he can skip past players. That was a shocking finish. If he just cut inside, he might have had a fighting chance, but he just didn't. Um... I don't like Mason Bennett looking complacent. That worries me. Let's shout. Let's show some passion. Let's see if that gets Mason Bennett looking like he needs to fire up at all. If it doesn't, we'll make a sub. That's very simple. Very, very simple. It's ten minutes to go. Gasca's definitely coming off. So who's going to come on there? Let's bring on Levy. Levy is a playmaker. Yeah, it's ten minutes left to play. That's fine. He can't possibly get too tired in ten minutes. It's looking like Joe Ledley might need to come off and have a rest as well, but Levy's picked up the free kick, whips it over to Puerto. Puerto, oh, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Nothing really doing. But it's OK, that's all OK. Schmatula sends it down. Longstaff's got his head to the ball. No, Puerto got his head to the ball, sorry. And um, Barilla's going to have a look forward now. But only as far as Darkovsky. And they've got picked up possession. Sloppily given away, really. Vukacevic. Darkovsky needs to do better with this one. Mason Bennett's head, Levy, Ledley. Joe Ledley held onto the ball too long there. Could have given it to anyone around him at any time and just didn't do anything with it. And now Padilla's clean through on goal. Good save by Kaiser. He's doing well, playing well above his station. He's not even good enough to be at this level. Really shouldn't be in goal for us, but he is the absolute best we've got. And now Padilla's got a corner, whips it across. Hately picks it up out wide. Padilla back in. Ledley heads it clear as far as Alves. Lots of pressure here. Badia, what have we got? Someone, anything. Free kick given to Schlosk. Badia was offside. And now that's time, I think, to make our final sub. And Mason Bennett looking complacent isn't going to do him any favours. 
I think it's time he stepped away and Libambo Masonda comes in to play on the right wing. Could have shored up the defensive line a little bit, but they've played okay. Collins hasn't set the world on fire, but they've played okay. It's been a decent performance. We've not massively struggled or looked like we're under threat, but I think that's more speaking of the quality of their performance and the quality of our defenders. A 2-0 win looks like it's coming out, and that's definitely okay. Picking up some sloppy yellow cards as people stick their foot in trying to maintain the result. Collins heads it out. Karun's picked up on the outside of the box. Tashinsky off the crossbar, out to Badia. Badia gets a cross in. Tashinsky can have another go. No, great sliding tackle by Dankowski. And there we go, that's the ball out. And that should be the final action of the game. I think this throw-in is going to come to nothing. Because we're pretty much at time. Vukacevic throws it in. Attempts across. Kaiser gets it safely. Bit of a Hollywood save, but we'll allow him the Hollywood save. He's kept a clean sheet. He's played well. We've won a game 2-0. Everything looks good, everyone looks delighted, everything is fine. And if we hit continue, we'll see where this leaves us in the league. We're up to third, although there's still a few teams around us that haven't played yet. And you'd expect Lodz or Pogon to pick up some teams. Lodz, by the way, not my favourite people right now, because they signed this guy, Justin Mengelo. Offered him a contract, looked like he was going to come. Signed for them at the last minute. What a player, though. What a player. Just oh, gutted. The fact I'm going to have to play against him at some point absolutely terrifies me. But he is a decent enough player. And that's worth us knowing. Let's see if anything good popped up in the inbox. Quality of possession. Let's praise Joe Ledley's performance. He was good. He was a good player. And James Collins made his debut. And all is right in the world. So... I think that is going to end this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Join me on Saturday for the live stream. There'll be details on Twitter when it's going up. It's a charity live stream for the National Autistic Society. Money raised. Please donate. Be good. Um, English. I'll English better on the live stream. I promise. I think we'll probably carry on the Arsenal save from the beta on the live stream. So if you're an Arsenal fan, come, come and cheer us on. Um... Until next time, though, guys, if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button, which is down there somewhere. Ring the bell so it tells you when I upload some new stuff. Uh, hit the like button, because that really helps people find me. Um, and come back and join us next time for more from Slash, slash Vrotswav. I'll learn to pronounce it first time eventually. Um, and, yeah, until next time, I've been Jason Lane, and you've been awesome. Have a good one.